Hey, the YouTube is Gundude seventy three, making an episode of Knife Talk, and uh, today I'm gonna be talking about uh, locks on folding knives. And I'm gonna start this off by saying, I was thinking about doing this video, and I realized I really don't, I don't really have that much variety. I tend to gravitate towards only a few. So I'm gonna preface this by saying, I don't understand the whole hard use knife thing for folders. I don't understand why people need a folder that holds six hundred pounds dead weight off the blade. I don't even think most people can exert that really by themselves. You know, how many people can put 600 pounds of constant force on something? I mean, I don't I don't see myself ever having to do that, so I don't gravitate towards those. I gravitate towards knives that can cut. And I have a few locks out here. The main ones I find myself buying are liner locks like the military and frame locks like these over here. Those are what I see myself buying a lot, you know. The knives I like have those, and I don't mind them. I like that it's like a liner lock. You can easily open the knife and easily close it. Very intuitive. The military's liner lock is great. It locks up solid. It's smooth. It's plenty strong for what I use my knives for. I mean, if you really think you need over 200 pounds, I mean, you know, Pick up 200 pounds and think to yourself, am I ever going to have to exert this on my lock? And some people say, well, what if an emergency? What kind of emergency are you going to be doing that? I just don't see it. Another lock type that I like is the uh, Spyderco compression lock. This is probably one of the stronger locks that I own. You have you know, the liner sandwiching the stop pin between... You know, the, uh, the stop pin is sandwiched between the liner and the tang of the blade. This is pretty strong. You're not going to be breaking this anytime soon. You know, even with a blade like this, you're going to snap the blade before you break the lock. I mean, that's just how it is. And most knives nowadays, really, that's how it is. I mean, lock strength has just gotten to a point where it's ridiculous. Another one of my favorites is the, uh, just the titanium frame lock. The Sebenza has a good just standard one, you know. There's no lock stabilizer. There's no nothing like that, it's just a very basic lock, but it works very well, smooth, and it locks up tight. What more do you need, really? You know? I don't know. I don't know what people need. Personally, if this holds 200 pounds, which I think it might hold more than that, I don't know offhand, I don't do that kind of testing. Really, that's more than satisfactory for me. I'm completely confident in this knife's ability to cut. Even though it's locked, can't hold 600 pounds. Go figure. Uh, then you have other frame locks. This one's still titanium, but it has the bias cut, so you can't overextend it. I like that. I could see that, you know, in a situation where you're hes if you're, you know, hurriedly putting away your knife, you might overextend that. But even on the Sebenza, it's kind of hard to overextend. Um, steel. This is the only steel frame lock I have. The uh, Kershaw Shallot. Um, the only thing with steel on a frame lock is that it does not gall. Like, titanium wants to stick to the blade. But the, uh, the shallot, it just doesn't, I mean, steel doesn't want to stick to anything. So this will probably last longer, I mean, in the long run, which is, <laughs> I don't know, how many decades? I think people just get too caught up in the, uh, in the semantics and stuff. They're like, oh, well... This one won't last as long. Oh, it'll last 20 years instead of 30. Well, it's still a long time for a $100 knife or $60 knife or whatever, you know. Other liner locks here. This is the Kershaw Skyline. Not as strong of a lock. I mean, it's pretty easy to disengage, but deploys fast, locks up tight. Fine by me. I'm more interested in how the blade locks up. I'm more concerned about blade play than strength. A uh, back lock. I have a few back locks. This is this one I had handy. They have a little bit of play inherent into the design of the knife, just how they are. But this one's pretty tight. I mean, the other thing with locks, I think people don't consider is when you're cutting something, the knife is being pushed. You know, the blade is not being pushed down to close. It's being kept open. If you want to beef up anything, beef up the stop pin. Because that's really what's going to be taking most of the force when you're doing heavy cutting. It's not going to be, it's like on the, the Sebenza here, if you're cutting, the blade is being pushed this way. 
That's not where the lock is, it's where the stop pin is. Food for thought. The only lock I've ever had ever fail on me is this uh, access lock. You can see that both springs broke around the same time. And uh, I just haven't gotten around to sending this in yet, yet, even though it's been almost two years. I just don't trust these knives anymore. I mean, after this happens to you, you get really just, you know, you, get, you don't trust it anymore. I also don't like that they don't send you out parts, but what do you do? So, I mean, for me, something like a liner lock or a frame lock that doesn't depend on tiny springs like that, that's what I tend to prefer. I mean, I haven't tried some locks like the uh, ball bearing lock. I hear it's good. I have not tried the triad lock. But the thing for me, too, is most people, they get too tied up in one part of the knife. They get too tied up in you know, blade steel, you know, and they want uber blade steel, but the handle feels like a brick, you know, or they want a knife that has a strong lock, but it weighs 10 ounces, then it doesn't cut very well. Really, if you're going to be putting 600 pounds of force on any knife that you own, pick a right tool. You're not supposed to be using a knife for that. That's just my opinion. You know, I know people are going to disagree with me. They're going to say, well, I want the strong lock. Well, go ahead. Go ahead and buy that cold steel, but I prefer something with better fit and finish that's made in the USA that can hold 400 or 200 pounds or whatever. These hold. I don't care. They lock up tight. They deploy fast. So uh, that was my video on locks. Uh, feel free to voice any comments or criticisms in the comment section below. And uh, if you guys have any requests, feel free to let me know. Uh, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.